In a previous video, I showed you how to conduct a spotlight analysis by creating a scatter plot with two regression lines, and I used the median to separate the two groups into low and high. And I argued that that's probably the most realistic way to depict the interaction in such a way that it's consistent with the actual effect size associated with the interaction. But I also mentioned that it's not the way that people typically do it. Typically, people want to exaggerate the interaction effect so that it can be appreciated more. Now how to do that type of spotlight analysis, you can get syntax from Brian O'Connor's webpage where you would have to copy and paste this webpage. I put a link to it in the textbook. And if you copy and paste this whole webpage and put that into a syntax file, click File, New, Syntax, and just paste the whole syntax into here. And then, Create a new data file because the syntax only reads three variables and they have to be named IDV, mod, or DV. And so that's the independent variable, the moderator, and the dependent variable. So click on File, New, Data, and then copy and paste these three variables into the new data file, and then rename them. IDV, mod, and DV. And then close the other data file. Then open the syntax file. Now this part of the program is actually going to generate new data. So you need to ignore this in the syntax file. Now only consider this point below. There are three pieces of information you might consider. First, the default is to create groups across the moderator such that they are one standard deviation below the mean and one standard deviation above the mean. So this is a less extreme approach than the two standard deviation above and below the mean. The default for the dependent variable though is two standard deviations above and below the mean. Here if you have a dichotomous variable you'd have to set, change this number to one but it's zero because the independent variable is a continuously scored variable. If it were dichotomously scored, I'd have to change that to a one, but it's continuous. The independent variable's intelligence, which is continuous. So now that I've got the data set up and I've got the syntax copied and pasted into a syntax file, I can select from here all the way to the bottom and click Run Selection. And that produces output into SPSS. So the analysis actually executes the, the moderated regression across three levels of the moderator, low, medium, and high. And possibly you'd want to report these results in order to compare them across the groups. You can see that the standardized beta weight increases from low, medium, and high. In the previous spotlight analysis, I only looked at low and high, but I didn't use extreme groups. I just literally split it. This is obviously showing a linear trend in the moderator effect. As you get higher and higher in motivation, the magnitude of the association between intelligence and achievement, academic achievement, is increasing. I showed that previously with the correlations across the two samples split across the median. I also showed it in the scatter plot. This is doing it across three groups, and this low group is one standard deviation below the mean. This is the mean. And this is one standard deviation above the mean. So that's where it split the data. And we can see that the association between intelligence and academic achievement for low motivation was estimated at 0.298. For medium, it was 0.397. And then for high, it was 0.496. It's basically going up by 0.1 across the low, medium, and high levels. It then creates a scatter plot in order to depict the nature of the interaction which is similar to the scatter plot I created in the more basic spotlight analysis. I can clean this up a little bit, make it look a bit. So these are the three lines of best fit associated with this analysis. In the previous spotlight analysis I did, I only showed you two lines because I only split the data into two groups, low and high, and I split them across the median. But in the O'Connor syntax, which is the, possibly the more commonly observed way that people depict the interaction in a spotlight analysis. There are three lines, and the one in the middle is the mean, and this score here is one standard deviation below the mean, and this is one standard deviation above the mean. Now this is the moderator motivation level. 
The independent variable down here is intelligence, and that is actually split. This is two standard deviations below the mean, and this is two standard deviations above the mean. And the reason I know that is the syntax here says 2.0 for independent variable. So this does depict an interaction such that the magnitude of the association between intelligence and GPA increases as you increase motivation level. It's much steeper for a high level of motivation, which is one standard deviation above the mean of motivation, and lower for one standard deviation below the mean. I suppose that's a benefit of using three lines in the interaction spotlight analysis, is that you can see that the interaction is happening progressively as you go up in value in the moderator. If you only have two lines, you don't know for sure if it's happening in a gradual way. So this is a little bit of an advantage doing it the three ways. I suppose the problem is that you're, it is exaggerating the magnitude of the interaction in comparison to the spotlight analysis I showed earlier. Now you can exaggerate it even more if you change the moderator to two standard deviations themselves. So now it's going to use an even more extreme groups approach because both the moderator and the IV are going to be split where the low and high groups correspond to two standard deviations above the mean. So let's run this syntax and see how the plot looks a bit different. Yeah, so look at the, I'll just get rid of the gray. So you can see the space between the slopes is even more substantial when I made the moderator split across two standard deviations above and below the means. So if you compare that with this, it's actually quite apparent. It looks like there's a really big interaction effect. Of course, as I mentioned, it's misleading to suggest that's the case. In my opinion, 